SpaceX has been doing things in the space industry that most companies and even entire countries combined would struggle to achieve. But despite their track record, nobody really expected them to hit their most recent milestone so fast and in such an overwhelming way. Today, we're going to talk about this record-breaking achievement in detail and why it changes the entire launch industry. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our upcoming space content. Companies usually take months or sometimes even years to prepare for a single rocket launch. But what SpaceX accomplished this year has changed everything. Before SpaceX came along, the record for the most successful rocket launches in a single year was held by the Soviet Union's R-7 launch rocket family. Back in the 1980s, at the peak of the space race, the R-7 managed around 60 to 70 launches a year, and that was considered an unmatched achievement for decades. Even modern national space programs struggled to come close to that number. But SpaceX didn't just beat that old record. They crushed it, and they're now competing with themselves year after year. SpaceX broke its record Wednesday morning for the number of Falcon 9 launches in a single calendar year. This year's 133rd Falcon 9 launch lifted off flawlessly, marking a new high that no other rocket in history has ever reached. To put this in perspective, in 2021, SpaceX completed 31 Falcon 9 launches in a year, which already shocked the industry. At that time, 31 launches in a year matched the highest annual launch rate ever achieved by the United States during the shuttle era. Many thought SpaceX had reached their limit. In 2022, they nearly doubled their output to 61 Falcon 9 missions. Then came 2023, and SpaceX pushed the limit even further with 96 Falcon 9 launches in one year. That alone was a historic record. By that point, experts predicted SpaceX might reach somewhere around 100 to 110 launches for 2024. But instead of just reaching expectations, SpaceX went far beyond them. Passing 133 Falcon 9 launches in a single year is something nobody believed would happen this soon. And what makes these numbers sound almost unreal is that Falcon 9 is not an old-style rocket that gets thrown away after each mission. SpaceX sends the booster to space, lands it, brings it back, and flies it again. In 2024, SpaceX also passed 300 successful booster landings. That means more than 300 times, instead of losing the rocket into the ocean, they brought it back safely. They land these boosters in two ways. Some come back to land at SpaceX's landing zones in Florida. Others land on drone ships in the ocean when returning to land isn't possible. These drone ships, named Just Read the Instructions, of course, I still love you, and a shortfall of gravitas, act like moving landing pads. They stay in position using GPS and thrusters so the booster can land vertically on top of them. And the crazy part is, some Falcon 9 boosters have been flown more than 20 times. When SpaceX first talked about reusing rockets, many experts thought maybe a booster could fly two or three times before wearing out. Now a single booster can replace what would normally require 20 brand new rockets for any other company. Reusing rockets isn't just a cool engineering trick. It saves a huge amount of money. A single Falcon 9 launch costs about $67 million, which is unbelievably low for what it delivers. Falcon Heavy, which is the most powerful operational rocket in the world besides NASA's SLS, falls in the $150 to $180 million range, depending on the mission. Even at that price, it's still incredibly cheap for the amount of payload it can send into orbit and beyond. When you look at astronaut flights, the difference becomes even more obvious. A seat on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for NASA is around $55 million per astronaut, which is far cheaper than what NASA had to pay Russia for Soyuz seats when the U.S. had no spacecraft of its own. Soyuz prices climbed to nearly $80 to $90 million per astronaut, and even the space shuttle, which was supposed to make spaceflight cheaper, ended up averaging close to $90 million per seat by the end of the program. Now, when we bring NASA's space launch system into the conversation, the difference becomes almost ridiculous. One single SLS launch costs about $4.1 billion. 
That is $4.1 billion for one flight. To understand how extreme that is, imagine giving that same amount of money to SpaceX instead. With that budget, they could fly roughly 60 Falcon 9 missions, or more than 20 Falcon Heavy missions, instead of just one SLS launch. In other words, the cost of sending SLS to space once is enough to fund an entire year of SPACE launches. What makes this even harder to justify is the fact that SLS isn't even a modern rocket. NASA has already spent more than $23 billion developing it. Yet the rocket is based on old technology. It uses the engines from the space shuttle era. These engines were originally designed to be reused over and over again. During the shuttle program, each engine flew multiple missions. But on SLS, these same engines are used once and then thrown away. Four of them are dumped into the ocean after each launch. So NASA took reusable engines that worked for decades, put them on a new rocket, and turned them into single-use hardware. While making the entire system more expensive than anything that came before it, the same NASA that has struggled for over a decade to develop a single rocket is now pointing fingers at SpaceX for slow progress on Starship. And what makes this situation even more bizarre is that NASA is considering taking the lunar lander contract away from SpaceX and reopening it to other companies, including Blue Origin. NASA awarded SpaceX the $2.9 billion human landing system contract in 2021 and later added a second contract in 2023 worth $1.15 billion for an upgraded version of the Starship lunar lander. SpaceX has already launched Starship 11 times in less than two years, with major progress on every flight. But NASA is now acting as if this isn't enough. Starship has gone from its first launch in April 2023, which barely passed the launch tower, to now completing full launch, stage separation, and even catching the booster mid-air using the Mechazilla arms. Yet NASA is opening the door for competitors. What makes NASA's decision even harder to take seriously is the idea of replacing SpaceX with Blue Origin. Blue Origin is nowhere close to SpaceX's level of capability. Their orbital launch record is still sitting at zero because the company has never reached orbit with any rocket. In 2023, Blue Origin completed only one mission, and it was a suborbital New Shepard flight that lasted about 10 minutes and returned to Earth. No satellites were delivered to orbit, and no crewed orbital flights took place. In 2024, Blue Origin's entire launch activity for the year came down to just two short New Shepard flights. The first mission carried six passengers past the Karman line to an altitude of roughly 106 kilometers and returned in under 10 minutes. The second mission on August 29th also carried six passengers and reached around 104 kilometers before landing again lasting only about 10 minutes. These are tourism hops, not space missions pushing any technological boundary. It's also worth noting that Blue Origin only resumed crewed flights this year after being grounded for almost two years. In 2022, a New Shepard booster suffered a failure during an uncrewed research mission, which triggered an FAA investigation. Blue Origin was forced to implement 21 corrective actions before the FAA cleared them to fly again. So, while SpaceX is launching Starship prototypes, landing Falcon boosters, and flying astronauts to the space station, Blue Origin spent nearly two years stuck on the ground fixing a suborbital tourism rocket. Musk is upset because SpaceX has already flown Starship 11 times and made real progress, but NASA is still saying it's not enough. Now that Jared Isaacman has been picked again to lead NASA, many people hope things will improve. If he becomes the new NASA boss, the expectation is that NASA will make more fair decisions and support the company that is actually getting things done. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.